Oh, geez. Don't watch this video. It is going to confuse you. Here we go. What are we trying to do? We're trying to find a Maclaurin series for the tangent inverse of x over 2. And then we're going to compare it with the power series, and hopefully this story has a moral. To get the Maclaurin series for the inverse tangent, we need to take the derivative of the inverse tangent. Oh, look at that. Looks like that because the inverse tangent derivative is that all. All right. After we get the first derivative, we clean it up because we determined that it's easier to take the derivative that way of the clean form. Spent a little too much time on it. Why not spend some more? So we take the second derivative and we reduce that guy and we deduce it's that guy. All right. So we clean it up. Let me make some room because we're making the third derivative. Making it, making it, making it easy. That's low. D high minus high. D low all over low, low. And then we go, go, and we factor out the common factors. There's more. And there it is. We write our leftovers in there. All over low, low. And we go, go, and we clean that up. All right. Let's combine like terms right on over here. So then, that cleans up like that. All right, so now we're going to get the first four terms of our McLaren series. We get a McLaren series because we let x equal zero. And the inverse tangent of zero is zero. The first derivative evaluated at zero. Clean that up, it's a half. The second derivative evaluated at zero. Clean that up, it's zero. The third derivative evaluated at zero. Clean that up. It's minus O, O. Divide! Uh, oh! I end up with one fourth. So what are those numbers? Zero, one half, zero, and minus one fourth. Oh boy. So we're supposed to compare this to the power series. Uh huh. So I'm taking a look at that derivative. It looks like that. Now what? I'm rewriting it so that I can write it in the power series. The power series representation for that is like that. Notice that the minus sign is outside. Because the minus sign is outside the square. So then from there, we clean that up. Because that's all to the deuce. I think that 4 should have an n. I'll catch it in a minute, I suppose. So then we go and we crank those out. We're cranking out the first couple of terms because we're trying to compare that. Ah, oh, that's where I caught the n. And then I keep on keeping on because we're trying to compare it to the coefficients of that Maclaurin series. So, whoa, why aren't those the same? Well, there's a couple of reasons. We need to integrate this guy to get the series, because that was for the derivative. So, when we integrate it, we add one and we divide by it. Then we need to find our c. Turns out that our c is zero, because the tangent inverse is zero, and that whole series part is zero when x is equal to zero. So that's good. That's our series. So now we're trying to compare those. But these are just the coefficients of the Maclaurin series. Enter music. And, yeah, we are doing these in class. We crank out the first couple of terms of our Maclaurin series. And it goes on. Those go to zero, because those are zero. Oh, good. Does that match? Well, let's go and get those terms for that inverse tangent. Cranking them out. We're trying to see if they match. I'm indexing. Those are my first two terms of our made of our made Maclaurin series, and it looks like they match. 
and it worked out. So what's the more of the story? The McLaren series is a special Taylor series, which is a special power series. Mm -hmm.